All right, welcome back to the Gen Z Speaks podcast. Let's try not to move the mics as much. Let's make this the perfect audio. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> For those listening, the man aggressively shake the mic like a shook, psycho. Shook. Shook. Grammar. Sorry. Grammar. Sorry. Grammar. English is my second language, well, technically. Me too. No, it's not. Yes, Shut it up. Is. You only speak English. No, bro. Yes. I speak Esperanto. <laughs> you you don't speak. You speak. Actually, I've noticed your Spanish has gotten better. Thank you. You were speaking to one of your customers. Yes, sir. I mean, I understood everything because it was the most basic Spanish, but I was like, you know what? Did you understand everything? Almost, yeah. Really? That one time you were driving. Yeah, yeah. No, I was driving. You were sitting next to me. Oh, you yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, I know. Was... I said some funny things. <laughs> well, sometimes my accent's not like full, you know, Spanish. I can actually understand. Yeah. Spanish? Somewhat. Yeah, it's just kind of. <laughs> muscle Somewhat. Menos. But it's just translating back. That's difficult. That, for me, at least, it's translating. I can understand what they're saying mostly. But then speaking back, it takes me a lot longer. Yeah, well, that's the toughest part. Yeah. I can actually read Spanish better than I can listen or speak it. No, I mean, yeah, obviously. Really? I hope so. Most people say that it's more difficult to read. Read as right, in, like, yeah. pronounce, pronunciation or no, like, understanding? No, like, understand the, the... Really? Yeah, yeah. You can. I've heard... I don't, other people say that it's hard. I don't know. For me, it's easier. Well, it makes sense because the speakers, the native speakers, speak really fast. Yeah. And when you have it written down, you can track everything. Right. They're not yeah, exactly. racing to finish the sentences. Right, right, Yeah, right. that makes sense. Yeah, bro. Ooh. I'm so you, really conscious of this mic quality. I don't know why. Why? It's not good? No, it, oh, no, no. Sound I sound good. good. Yeah. I sound, everything sounds good. It's just I was listening to the podcast. Uh-huh. When I was working out. Because my parents, I don't know if I told you this. What's that? My mom saw the podcast and she oh, was yeah? complimenting you a lot. Really? She was like, Matt asked you so many tough questions. It was the podcast where I thought it was We're like, goofing off. Yeah, we're just goofing. She was like, he was putting you, he was asking you deep questions. Yeah, And bro. he got you cornered and I was like, I was just messing around. It wasn't like, I think it was a good pod. I don't yeah, think it was my, a bad my, podcast. My mom said it was good and my dad liked it. Your dad liked that one too? Yeah. Really? They like the podcast. They oh, were complimenting like you a lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm not even joking. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Ahmed. Yep. Appreciate you guys. Mubarak. Mubarak. Yeah. Technically, because my mom's last name is Mubarak. And my dad's last name is Ahmed. Really? Uh, yeah. So is it Mubarak dash Ahmed? No, no, no. Just Mariam Mubarak. Yeah. Really? Why is that? You, you know, that's my just... dad's last name. No, I, mean, I understand. That's my dad's first name. Mubarak? My dad's first name, yeah. Mubar- oh, so she took his first... That's a very old school thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my parents got married in 1999. Yeah, bro. That's not that In the 20th long century. century. Yeah. It's a century. That's not long ago at all, actually. <laughs> 25. 99 quarter, and then you were born. Quarter century. Yeah. Quarter century. Quarter century. That's how much older you're going to be in less than 16 months now. 17. It's okay, bro. <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> I love how sad you get every time I bring up the Me? number 25. In your eyes, I see You're it. You're tripping. I see. Oh, my God. The bro. ocean of tears ready to be dripped So they were born in 1999, and then you were born in 2000. No, they got married in 1999. Yeah, married in 1999. They 99. weren't born. You said born. Did I say born? Sorry, yes. sorry, sorry. Well, the relationship was born. <laughs> Technically yeah. speaking, yeah. The relationship was born in 1999, and then you were born, yes. and then Mr. Ahmed came out speaking Urdu. What? Me? Yeah. Yeah, Urdu was my first language. Mm. So, okay, question. So your sister's last name is Ahmed? Yeah. That's a family name. Gotcha. So, but nowhere on, like, a legal document your mom has Ahmed? No. Wow, that's interesting. I was just talking about this with Alexis family. We are talking about just last names. A lot of people, what they do is they'll take their maiden name and do dash, and then they'll do their spouse's last name. What are you going to do? I don't know. It depends on my wife. <laughs> really? What, what are you gonna do? No, they're gonna take my last. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do if they don't take my last name. Wait a second. Well, hold on a second. Yeah. You. Yeah. Would not marry. Yeah. A girl if she refuses to take your last name. Yes. That's a deal breaker for you. Yeah, I think so. No way. Yeah. Are you serious? I am. What if you love her? She loves you more than anything in the world. I wouldn't love somebody that's egotistical enough to not take my last name. Interesting. Yeah. I don't like girls like that, bro. I do not like egotistical, superficial girls. I like traditional. That's me. So you think it's yeah. superficial yes. if a woman refuses to take because, your last name? Because for what's marriage? the reason? Why? What's the reason behind that? What if she just has a cooler last name compared to yours? 
What if it's that's like, a very superficial thing? If you don't, if you ask but what me. if she genuinely thinks if it's like I have a better last name than you? That's a very superficial thing. I'm not into superficiality. <laughs> that's like that. the only deal breaker. What if she's perfect? Everything, every every box. I, I don't understand that. I would have a conversation. It's not like I'd be like, oh, we're done. I would have a conversation about it. But to me, that's very egotistical, superficial. Like, yeah, that's not cool. Okay, with Alexis's case, though, she's going to take your last name. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, dude, like, y- then you have kids, right? And your kids are going to be like, why is my mommy's last name different than my pop? <laughs> and that's, and they're going to ask that question. You really think kids are going to ask that? 100%. Really? Yes, bro. Hmm. I've had conversations. That's actually a good observation. I and didn't then think what about do you it. say? And how do you, how, as a man, what do you tell your kids? You're not man enough to have your wife. Your mom your last thinks name? she has a cooler last name than mine. That's why. <laughs> that's crazy. Bro. You can turn into kids. a comedy, but that's your kids will look at you a different way. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I, look, I, I have, so. I don't, I haven't thought about this. Yeah, like I actually, so I don't know where I stand on yeah. this. But it's also I don't know if it's a for deal breaker for because me. it's tradition, right? The whole first name thing. She still took your dad's name, right? That, that's a yeah, very that's a traditional thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My mom took yeah, I'm not saying I'm saying like if they if they just choose to not take my name at all, that's crazy. In Pakistan, the 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 wife yeah usually takes the first name of the, the husband. First. Would you prefer the them to take your first name or your last name? Uh, my last name. Your last name. Yeah. More Americanized. No. Breaking I like the, the chain. No, 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 no. I oh. I just think it's uh now that I think about it, it's a very beautiful thing, huh? Yes. So if you know, if she takes my first name, it's kind mm-hmm. of more romantic because my name is attached to hers forever. If you think about it. So let's say Alexis mm-hmm. takes yours, Alexis Matt, Matthew, you know, Alexis Matthew. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> your name is actually yeah, Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> That's the thing with nicknames. You know, yeah, when you just yeah, yeah. nickname, you forget your actual know, name true. is Matthew. Yeah. It's not Matt. I forget but... your name is Ibrahim. Actually. No, you can't. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Eb. You've never called. You barely call me that. no i just text you that when i because you're very so rarely long. Eep, eep, rarely eep. rarely yeah, yeah bro that's that, i just it, it's kind of romantic right taking your first name yeah i just th- i just i could appreciate that. it I, it's just not what if tradition. alexis is like no i want to take Matthew, your first nah, name that'd be weird is that a deal breaker though what if the wife is like your wife you know future wife is like can i take your first name i would laugh that i would I'd probably yeah laugh but is that okay is that a I deal breaker know. for you I, I haven't thought about that <laughs> What? I would, I would, I would be very confused. Don't tell me why. it's, but would that be no like, deal breaker? Yeah. No, I don't need deal breaker. But okay. I'd be very confused. But you'll be fine. What if she insists? I want to take your first. <laughs> <laughs> I will laugh my ass off, bro. No, what if she insists though? Would you, would you be like, yeah? By the way, it's her decision at the end of the day, technically. Yeah, true. I agree. It's her decision at the end of the day. <laughs> but I want a girl that wants what I want. Is it her decision though? If you're like, that's a deal breaker. Of course, because they can not want that. They can want to keep their last name, and I don't have to. Because at the end of the day, it's my decision, too, right, to marry them. So they can want what they want. I can want what I want. And we go separate ways. If you find a girl, listen, bro, if you find a girl that wants the traditions that you want and she lives by the way you live, you don't have to convince anybody of anything. I just think it's so funny, man. I don't know where I stand on this. I've thought about it. But, yeah. Huh. Initials. Yeah. Names. What if You're also very... Can I just say, you are the only person in the world that I've met who is yeah. just obsessed with names. With names. You're just, yeah. a, you have a weird, like. I do have an affinity for names. I like it. Affinity or fetish? I don't know what it is. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> fetish, maybe. I think it might be a combination. Maybe the fetish. It's a maybe, hybrid. Maybe the names turn me on. <laughs> I think they do. <laughs> I believe they do. <laughs> you are crazy, bro. No, but, but I, you think about the names of everything. Like you, the first I thing do. you e- ever think about yeah. before doing anything is the name of something. You, know, I think about it because marketing wise. When, yeah. Yeah. So when I'm like, when I'm looking at a business, for whatever reason, if I'm going to a business, I actually think about would I go into this business if I just heard the name? Would I watch this movie if I just heard the name or if I just read the name? And oftentimes, if I realize, like, I think most people are like that. So when you start a family, you're thinking about how you're gonna market your family about the last name. Is that why you're thinking first about first names for sure, bro? I think your first really? name, yeah. I think your first name tells Dude a lot. Dude wants to about monetize you. his family. He's no, like... not monetize, but no, but you can market your personality, and your name displays a lot of personality. Like if you hear if you hear a name and you're like like if you hear a name like Rodolfo, <laughs> that's okay. a name in, in like it's a Mexican name. But, I like, I laugh when I hear that name. That's just, uh, to me, it's a, that's a silly name. I, I will say, I have thought about my kids' names. Yeah. I think about that. It's important. Yeah, but I don't think about... Like, I want my daughter to have a pretty name. 
I don't want her. Really, to, you want your daughter to have a pretty name? Yeah, I wouldn't want What's her to have a What's a pretty name? name? Give me an example. Like Iris, Sage. Oh my! I like these God. names. God. Yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah. Iris, what is your obsession with names? That's a beautiful name, bro. Iris, no, do you. I, I yeah. think you have to name your daughter Iris now. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. There's Don't lot, name it Sage. Like. Don't say no, Sage. Well, but you can't actually. Yeah. I mean, I just, we got weird. <laughs> Technically, I can. But. Yeah. Sage and Iris. Yeah, why not? I like those names. I think it's important, bro. When you hear a name, you, you think of somebody a certain way. If, like, if you yeah. name your kid Mildred, that that's always Why a common people name. Do that? Mildred? Yeah, that was a common name back in like the forties, I think. Forties or fifties. But also cultures change. True. It's a cultural thing. So maybe yeah. Matthew becomes like Mildred. Matthew? Years. Oh no. I'm well that's a no. Bible name. No, so Matthew I don't think ever, can yeah. ever, yeah. See I that's the, the beauty I think name, of religious yeah. names. Yeah. Because they can't ever It's timeless. That's timeless. Yeah. Mildred. I mean, Abraham. <laughs> Come on. Quite a common name. <laughs> Abraham is is a beautiful <laughs> name because it's a common What is the origin story of Mildred? Is that a German name? I don't know the origin story of the name. It brother. just sounds very like old. It just sounds. I I feel like unappealing. Mildred. Yeah, bro. That's what I I'm saying. I think of like Marjorie, like, an English autocrat from the 17th yeah, century. Exactly. Mildred John II. Exactly. Yes, sir. I, yeah. To me, it's like it's important, bro. You think? See, you think of personality when you think of the name. What would you name your son? M- probably Maverick. Maverick. Oh, that is a good name, bro. See, that brings a smile. I guess you're it right. It brings a smile on your face. Exactly. When you said Maverick, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Badass. It's badass, dude. Exactly. Mav. Oh, that's actually really cool. Mav. Mav, yeah. Yeah, bro. There is something to names. There is a lot to names, bro. Because it just literally, if you saw me, if you watch this on YouTube, like, I actually smiled. That was a natural yeah, reaction. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. It's very important, dude. When you're watching a movie and you hear, you can just hear the name and you're, you kind of irk sometimes. Well, I want to hear your perspective on this. Would you name your children after, like, renowned people or people who have, like, famous people? Not necessarily celebrities. I hear what you're saying, yeah. But, like, let's say somebody you really admired. Right. A person who was very renowned. Would you name your son or daughter Definitely after them? Definitely not. Definitely not. No. I hear people do that. more. Like, more and more people I meet, I hear people do that. They They name their kids after if they like the celebrity or, like, whatever it is. I, I want my kid to set his own pace. I don't want identity. Him, yeah, his own identity. That, that That's who he is, right? Like, Maverick will be Maverick. Like, he's going to be Maverick Gutierrez. You know what I'm saying? Um, Maverick Gutierrez. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's sick. And so... We well, yeah. had the same initials as you, MG. MG. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. What if Alexis says no to Maverick? Alexis is a is a very what's a person. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Don't what? Say it. What? What? what, what? Go ahead, you say it. She's a kind person, yeah. bro. She she'll like she's mal like she's, Mal-, she's Mal- malleable, <laughs> no, no, flexible. No, don't flexible. say that. You were gonna Maybe say that. Maybe malleable is wrong. Don't word. say malleable. Well, man. Yeah, it's, I, I guess <laughs> she's a human word. being. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just using yeah, a descriptor, yeah, yeah. bro. I'm not it's trying funny. to be a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but she's like a flexible person, bro. Like, explain something. And she can appreciate it. Yeah. Wait, I have another question. Oh my god, I love asking you these these like. S- yeah, bro. See, you're stupid. just as into what hold is, on, motherfucker. Hold on. No, not you're what into is. what these is. These are what is. Hold on, no, because your answers are so like, <laughs> they're so crazy. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> you marry somebody, they yeah. take your last name. Yeah. Fine, but what if she's like, refuses <laughs> yeah. to name. Your daughter Iris or Sage or your son Maverick. What if she's like, no, whatever name you come up with, she's like, no. <laughs> For some reason, what would you do? I would laugh, bro. No, <laughs> is that a deal breaker? You're like, no, we can't agree on no. names. <laughs> I don't know if Too I would late. ever date any person. That's a huge what if. You're crazy. Look at this guy. Look at his face, bro. This guy. Bro, bro <laughs> there's something. I mean, because I've known this guy for 11 years. Yeah. But just watching your face when you're uncomfortable, bro, is the most hilarious thing. I'm not thing uncomfortable at all. <laughs> no, I'm just started, imagining yeah. you being uncomfortable. Like oh, your wife situation. is like, no, 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 Maverick. No, and you're like, well, what do you mean, though? No. Oh, man. I yeah, wish I, I could articulate this properly so people wouldn't. No, I understand, bro. I, I think everybody has that with their inside group yeah. with their friends. Oh, my their God. Their reactions, bro, they beg, like, yeah. Oh, my God. It's funny. No. <laughs> Iris, no. I would, Sage, that's no. That's another thing, bro. I just wouldn't go out with a person that's a disagreeable person like that. No, but what if everything she agrees on? <laughs> See, what if, what if, what if, what if? See, 
this is this is your thing, bro. You're a huge what if guy. No. You are. <laughs> Only about these silly things. Cause I know it's not like it's, just... it's fun. The what ifs are fun, bro. They make us laugh. Look at this, dude. I was just thinking about this though. Yeah, yeah. Like naming my children. I actually like names, not to the degree you do, yeah, obviously, because yeah. uh -huh. I'm normal. But <laughs> like, I was thinking about naming my son like after somebody I looked up to. And I oh, was like, really? Yeah, he's not famous or anything. I was just, like somebody I look up to, and I was like, like who? There was so in my community. Marshalla? No, in my okay. community. Well, Marshalla, I it's, I mean, that's a religious name, isn't it? It's the, so Marshal. The full name of Marshal is Marshal Hashbaz. It's Hashbaz, the longest right. name in the Bible. Right, you told me that. Yeah, I only know this because yeah, yeah. But he, um, what was I saying? There's a person in our community in the Amity yeah. community. He was only 25, and he recently was killed. Oh yeah, he was in Bangladesh. Yeah, what's his name? Zahid Hassan. Zahid. And yeah, he was killed. 25 year old who was trying to protect the mosque. Our, yeah. m our mosque. Sorry, so there's an annual gathering we do as Amity Muslims. Annual, it's called okay. Jalsa. Jalsa, okay. Um, it's like a convention. Yeah. And where? In everywhere, in every country oh, okay. where we're established, we do one. Gotcha. So in Bangladesh, yeah. which is in South Asia, next to next to okay. India, yeah. to the east and to the west is Pakistan. But um, he, there was a convention, and our community is persecuted. I think I've talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. But. The convention itself was attacked by the local residents, and he was 25 years old, Okay, and he tried to protect everybody, wow. and they beat him to death. Wow. Like, they couldn't recognize his yeah. face afterwards. So, like, the story's obviously, like, much more deeper and much more intricate, and, like, the point of the story is he was a very brave guy at mm. 25, and he was a convert to Ahmadiyya. Like, he didn't wasn't born into it. Okay. He had converted, like, six years ago, and he sacrificed his life for his faith. So I was like... I wanted to, I've thought about it. Yeah. What if I name my son after somebody? Like but that. yeah, and I think, I don't know. I might do that. It's admirable, but do you yeah. want to be reminded of this person every time? No, you talk to but your it's kid? like, it's like some, I don't have to tell them initially. I can just tell them when they're 18 or 25. True. No, but no. Did you have, have you ever asked your parents why they named you Matthew? Uh, Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? I'm curious. So <laughs> this is a deep one, actually. Okay. I'm low on a So list. Matthew obviously means God's gift. That's like the definition of mm -hmm. the name Matthew, right? My my parents, like, struggled having kids, right? My dad wasn't supposed to. Like, in the Marines, he got, di like, not diagnosed, but he got checked out, basically. And, like, there was a problem, basically, in that area, right? Like, with his sperm count. And so, um, wasn't able to have kids. That's what they told him for a while. And then my mom got pregnant. And so, they were like, wow, this is, like, God's gift. And so, they named me Matthew as a result. Oh, wow. Yeah. I did not know this. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Matthew means God's gift. Yeah, that's a powerful meaning of a name. I know it's crazy, bro. God's gift. What yeah, does Maverick gift. mean? Maverick. Yeah. It means an o. It's like an overwhelming storm, basically. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, Maverick. That's it's badass. I what like about that. Iris? Iris. Yeah. I just I don't know. There's just something about that name, bro. What does I it really mean? like? Iris is like yeah. the iris of your eye, eye, right? Yeah. yeah, the color of your eye. Yeah, there's. It's also like a, on a what camera else? that you have to adjust the iris. It's for like exposure. Uh, Similar. It's mm -hmm. like to to manage the. It's like to level the colors. I believe. As oh, far as I know. like the coloring. Okay. Adjust the iris. Iris up. Just, iris down. Uh huh. Yeah. When I think of iris, I just it's like a very like sharp name, like iris, but it's also like soft and warm. I don't know. It feels like like a girl that can kind of hold her own, but she can also be like. Like warm and and like yeah charismatic. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't think. I don't like Iris as much. Yeah. Sage. Sage is cool. Sage is cool. I like. Oh, somebody named somebody. Yeah. Bia. I like that. Bia. B i a. B i a. Does it remind you of something? No, but Bia. Hold on a second. <laughs> Bia. <laughs> you said I'm not gonna. Yeah. I can't even say. But Bia, you know, Bia is mm. a. Cool, I like shorter what, names. If you would change a letter, and what letter would you change? I would make it. Uh, would you change the B? Perhaps? I would make it. I would make it. I would make it. Gia. Gia. Gia's actual name. In, I've in heard that. Culture. Gia. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Mia. Oh yeah. Mia. Mia. Yeah. Your or sister's name is Mia. Letter after M. There's that. There's. Yeah. There's. Uh. There's a lot of names you could say, but I think <laughs> or a letter after S, you name her your Thea. Thea. Thea is <laughs> like an honor. Right? Yeah, he's an honor. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was thinking of, there's a lot of names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So you would name somebody who's like done something brave, or like I don't some, think I would do that. No, because I, I, I want that. like yeah, I would hope my kid is is like me, like entrepreneurial hustler mm. mentality, right? And they can have a mind of their own. They're strong willed. And that strong will results, like, to their name being of importance, right? I don't want them living of importance of somebody else. Like, my name yeah. is Ibrahim. Ibrahim, That's yeah. the Arabic word. Yeah. Translates to Abraham in English. Right. My parents named me after the prophet Abraham. Right. Yeah. I guess I was named after that, too, technically. Yeah, but my yeah, my parents are specifically, like, it's like my, my dad reminds me sometimes. And oh, I don't mind gotcha, it. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think it's a good reminder. It's not bad. Prophet Abraham. Like, yeah. I don't think about it every day. But, like, what was his last name? Abraham's. I don't know. Prophet Abraham's yeah. last name? I do not know. Can you look up Prophet Abraham's last name? Prophet? I, how do I not know this? Yeah. I don't know. So I, w- I don't dock you. Prophet there, Abraham's There's not a lot of names in the name. Bible or Quran that, that overlap, right? There's like, a lot. Oh, that overlap? I what thought do you the, mean all the names, like, like, is there two Abrahams? In the, oh, in the... no. It's the same Abraham. No, I know. What I'm saying is there's not a lot of names... There's no There's last no. name. So what I was saying is like it doesn't same names in the Bible as in the Quran. No, 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 no. Sorry, overlap. You're right. Yeah. There's a lot of names that overlap from the Bible to the Quran. But what I'm saying yeah. is, as individual book, like inside, there's not like two Abrahams. Like you're not going to confuse Prophet Abraham with another same Abraham. one. Matthew, you're not going to confuse it twice. Of course. So I think that's what they did, right? They just this is the person. Yeah. Like God. Like there's only one God, right? Matthew. There's only one Matthew. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So Abraham Ahmed, like you can make this name of value. Abraham, uh, Eber, sorry, my bad, not Abraham, Ibrahim Ahmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, well, <laughs> not Abraham, my bad, yeah, but you yeah. know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I'm not going to name somebody fully after somebody, they oh, can still be their I get, own, I get what you're yeah, saying. which is the first name. Zahid. Is, yeah, like Zahid Ahmed, I like that name, I might Zahid. do that. That's a cool name, Zahid. Zahid. Are you going to, oh yeah, are you opposed to naming um, a name that's like, Americanized or Western? No, I don't want to do. I don't care. So you're opposed to it, or you're not opposed? No, just I, to whatever. I don't have a preference. What I, if your I'm wife not, wanted like John? Hell no, John. I'm not Ahmed. naming my son John. No, why not? I'm not doing John and no. But that's also a Bible. Yeah, bro. And I'm sure. It's great. What about like Bill? Bill? Yeah, no. <laughs> Bill? No way. Bill? No. Bill Ahmed? No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. W- why not? No. What if you want your kid to have got many bills, brother? No. No. Da I da wanted da to da have some like a cool name. Yeah, yeah. See? Bill just used often. You do want cool names too. I want cool, of course yeah. I think about like names, but I'm not thinking of names all the time like you do. You think of everything. You think of names, 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 poms, poms, poms. With businesses, hell yeah, dude. Huh? Pallet dudes. Name that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. Seat. <laughs> a cube seat. <laughs> No, but like a business name, movie name, yeah, bro, it's extremely important. What if you have like seven kids? What if, can I name one of your kids? I'm not having seven kids. <laughs> what if you do though? I will be tying my whatever. How many kids called. would you want to have? Two. What if you have triplets? That'd be cool. What if you have? What if octuplets? What if you have a triplets and another one triplets back to back? <laughs> what would you do? I would think God is laughing at me. <laughs> That's what I would think. I think God would be like, this guy thinks he's only gonna have one or two kids. Laughing at me. Would you be cool if it were all six daughters? It is what it is. No, bro. I'd be stressed out. Why? I would be very stressed out. Why would you be stressed? Six daughters. That's bro, amazing. women are different. Do you live with you? You have sisters, bro. And you have sisters. Yes. You have more sisters than me. <laughs> technically, I no. technically do, but they're babies. <laughs> right, two of them are babies. Okay. Okay. One is twelve years or le- sorry, eleven years old. Yeah, she's eleven. Yeah. Okay. Twenty twelve, she was born. So. It's different, bro. Girls are very like um, like emotional, high strung. These are things that six, including my, <laughs> excluding my wife, seven. That chicks means live there's in the nobody house? like is gonna care. Yeah, I'd be at your house <laughs> lots of days of the week. <laughs> my house. Yeah. What if I have all daughters too? What are we gonna do with that? I guess. And if Jenna does too, and Russell does too, we all have to get a place together for our safe place. Safe space for safe, men. Yeah. <laughs> The last surviving Hell men. no, bro. That's too much. Really? You know what I have noticed? Can I tell you this, bro? Guys that have da- only daughters, right? Their morale lowers for some reason from when they were younger to where they are now. Their morale? Their morale. Like, yeah, it lowers, bro. Like they're... Okay. Like maybe confidence level or... Uh, yeah, bro. It, it, it decreases. Because of having daughters, you think? I've no, I, I don't know. This is just a personal thing. It's an opinion. M- morale. Completely. Are you using the right word, morale? Or do you mean like morale? There's a lot of not moral, not yeah, like, like moral yeah, yeah. standing. Like I don't morale. want morale. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like morale, as in like their their place in their mind where they're at. 
like are they less hopeful? I think so. What? They're yeah. more cynical, you think? Not maybe not cynical, but they're more like like taking life on easy mode rather than like pushing. They want to be like, comfortable? Ex- they're more comfortable. Their brain is less like They want more stability? I don't know about stability. I don't know about yeah, I don't know, I don't know about stability, but they're more they're less likely to push. To push, push what the barrier? What barrier? Like like question things or at, like these type. You don't does question that make sense? What? No, it's not. Okay, so sorry. Like, I'm just like you know, like okay. I'm sure like with a significant other or somebody you've been talking to, right? You ask questions that kind of like push their their thought, right? Mm-hmm. But when you have daughters, they tend the girls tend to gang up on the the guy <laughs> that's there. Oh, you so you're saying, saying they feel victimized? Maybe victimized they're persecuted. Is the right word, maybe. So you fear mm-hmm. the reason why you don't want to have six daughters is because you fear they'll gang up on you yes. and victimize yes. you and persecute you? Maybe not persecute, but <laughs> victimize? But what are you using this as a, what reference, what are you using this from like things you've seen around yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, just people I've seen around me. I, like You've noticed this. You've this seen is what this. I've noticed. I'm not saying it's a huge pool. I'm not saying that at all, yeah. but I'm saying it's probably about. Four families, four or five guys that only have daughters. Where well, you've that's seen the I've daughters noticed. gang up on the father. Yeah, I think I to me, I think that's a fact because that's a fact. I, I I'm not gonna say it is, but I think it is. So basically, it is in your mind. I think so, bro. <laughs> what is because happening? okay, girls and guys have they're very polar opposites, right? Sure. And so if the girls, if there's three, four girls here, bro, and they're all saying something, and the guy is the only one saying one thing. Four versus one, four is probably gonna win. So why would the so you're saying yeah, the fact that the daughters would gang up on the father yes, let's say yes, is the mother taking the father's side or the daughter's side? Probably more like the daughter's side because of the their more, biological identity bi- exactly because their biological identity because just because they're women, more emotional based yeah they're like we're all band together are you sure I'm not saying they're banding together I just think naturally their brains go in the same direction with like whatever the conversation is I don't know if that's true. I don't know I just told you I, I this is I've I've seen it four or five times right I'm not saying but what I've noticed is that's four what I've or five noticed. times yeah. like it's a fact I think <laughs> no no it's no. a fact that girls probably tend to go together because they're emotion based no but I think you don't think from, so? at least from what I've seen, yeah, I've seen women, uh-huh. and they disagree a lot with each like, other. I've seen women like fight. No, like, yeah, yeah, they very, do for sure. They don't just agree with each other just because they're a woman. I, Maybe sometimes. No, no, no. You're right. But more times than not, actually, yeah. I've seen they band disagree. together more with the father. Really? The mother. Yeah. That's what I've seen a See, lot of. I, is there boys in this household? Mm. What I'm saying, dynamic changes when when there's an there's an outweigh. Of of yeah. like genders basically. Yeah. Well, six versus or seven versus one is. Tough. That's crazy. Seven. That's what I'm saying. You you see, you even said like seven versus one. It's still that way. <laughs> yeah, but why does it have to be yeah. versus? Why can't it just be all together? I trust me. I I pray to God that I can, like, raise my kids to be that way. But naturally, in like naturally, people don't do that. They they question. Yeah. Right. It is tough. I will say. It would be tough to have six daughters. It would be very difficult. Just bro. because, as a guy, yeah, like I know how messed up guys are. Do that too. Are yeah. Just, men Dogs. just they're not. I think men just have problems, severe issues. The, the, the from what I've seen. Yeah. I don't trust a dude. Yeah, bro. No, it's very For difficult. Six of man. my daughters. Oh my god. And then, oh my god, bro. I can't, and I it's, couldn't do that. Going through six daughters, interviewing these guys that are coming into your house. <laughs> Interview um, you want to interview the ba- I mean you do right like yeah. if you're meet the fa- if he's gonna meet the family. What if you don't like the son-in-law? My daughter's not dating him. What if she's like this is the love of my life? Disowned. 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 Are you serious? No, not disowned. I'm I'm not that hardcore, but I would have. <laughs> I hope, bro. I, I'm telling. You, I hope I have a relationship with my kids where they value my opinion and they see like maybe some truth in, in what I'm saying. Would you fight for your daughter's right to keep your last name? What if she's like, what would you do then? That's another thing, bro. <laughs> what would hurt me, it is what it is, but what would hurt me is that I can't continue my family legacy. Name. What if she, well, the daughter's like, no, we want to continue the family legacy and we want to keep the name Gutierrez? Would you be fine? And the, the, what if, if the guy's like you, he's like, that's a deal breaker. What if you love the son of <laughs> What if, what if? <laughs> I know. What if, I don't know. I don't know what I'll, we'll have to wait and see, bro.
<laughs> also, I love how I'm like I'm basing this entire hypothetical yeah. based on the fact that you would have two pairs of triplets back know, to back, exactly. and they're all girls. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds of this happening? <laughs> I think Never. basically impossible. Basically. Like back to back triplets are all daughters. And I think triplet, even twins, triplet, that's a genetic thing too. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't have any of that in my family. Nobody in your family? No, nah, it doesn't have to no twins or triplets. Let me see. No. You? No, but if I marry somebody that does Would you I'm... like to have twins? No. no. No? I would not want to have twins. Why not? Just, Just too much at the same time? No. I actually I... Because, well, actually, I would love personally to have non-identical twins. Non-identical twins. Yes. Fraternal. Fraternal. Why? Because the, I've noticed a lot of twins have, like, complexes where mm. they feel like they are essentially... One? Yes, but they're not. Right. They want to be different, but right. they can't be different. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine trying to be different they're, when you look exactly like somebody they're else. They're unique. Who is identical? It's, like, it's, you know, it's fascinating. Yeah. Kind of, it's kind of beautiful. I, it's beautiful. I like it. Yeah. I person, I told you before. I wish I had a twin. No, I wouldn't want to have a twin. Why not? I'm too narcissistic. I want to be one on one. I don't want somebody like. No, I think it would but... be great to have two of me, bro. Two of you. Oh my god. I mean, we... That's also narcissistic to want yeah, an extra version of you. I think so. Yeah. So am I the humble version Maybe. of saying no? Only one. Me? Or narcissistic in a different way. <laughs> yeah. Different ways. Yeah. No, but I don't think it's good to. I don't know. We'll see. But I would, I, I would love to have triplets, though. Just one and done. You would? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Two boys, one girl? Or vice versa. Or vice versa? Yeah. What if they're all girls? Then they're all girls. If they're all girls, that's that's fine. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's fine. Yeah. I think I'm learning to to accept that it is what it is. It is. Why? You sound like you already got three daughters, bro. <laughs> you is, sound like you already got three daughters. Bro, gender reveal? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my I can't wait till that happens. That's to you. very scary. How far is that way is that for you? Okay, right now? so you think I'm you think <laughs> I'm getting married before you? I think you're gonna have kids before me though. You think I'll have kids before I you? I think so. I think what'll end up happening though, can I be mm -hmm. honest, is mm -hmm. I think I'll probably get married before you. Okay. But you'll have kids before me. That's what you think? Yeah. Right? Somebody write that down. Why? That's gonna happen. I, I think the opposite actually. You think you'll get married before me? I think it's a possibility. Oh, now you think it's because before you're like no, I like no, because I'm thinking I think about it too. Bro. <laughs> I, I, you're very traditional, right? And but I also think you want to get to know the person before you lock it down. Sure. I think you would want to date them for a year or two. I do think that. Well, I don't. I don't know. I that's just my perception of Listen, you. Man, I, think I don't you know. I, this do gives that. me a lot of anxiety thinking about marriage. Gives, yeah. But I think in terms of like children, I don't want to have children immediately after I get married. I want to wait like three years. Probably. Two I don't know years. if that's gonna happen. What, what will that happen for you? you think? I think so. You think? So? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm for just gonna you, go wild? I don't think so, bro. Because it's a very you're <laughs> going way way more traditional basis. Yeah, but I no, that is. I mean, all my cousins that were married traditionally, they're it's been three four years and they still don't have kids. That's fine. They're taking their time. Are you sure? I'm basing this off of two cousins that recently. <laughs> married, but no, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Do they I, have any problems with getting pregnant? No. No problem. I don't. Not that I know of. Yeah, that's a very common thing. Bro, you wouldn't want to be girls. a dad in your twenties, though. Late twenties, maybe. Twenty six. No, that's late twenties. <laughs> that's, that's gonna be two, two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years. That's what I'm saying. It's coming up for you, fatherhood, no, bro. No, no, right no, around no, the corner. No, 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 no. Okay, God willing, you're a very successful, rich man, right? Are you going to raise your kids knowing that you guys have money? Nope. Absolutely. I, I was just thinking about this in the shower yeah. today. I figured out how really? to raise kids. Okay. If I, God willing, <laughs> I figured out how to raise kids. No, God willing, Great I become successful. Uh -huh. Like, and successful means I have, like, a stable income. Yeah. And, like, I would not, I would act like we have nothing. Mm. We're just normal. Because you know what happens in this what? culture right now? Yes. A lot of these celebrities, yes. they are treating their kids like they're celebrities, too. Right. Which is messing with their minds. Like, I don't want to name names, but some of these, like, really powerful families and, like, yeah. celebrity famous people, they're, like, taking their kids to, like, Laker games. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the court locker side. rooms, courtside. They're meeting with all these. I mean, the, I, it's part of the job, but the kid doesn't have to come along with you and meet the player and get the shoes from them. Really? You wouldn't do get that? Get their jerseys? Absolutely not. You have to earn that, bro. Hell no. I'm not taking my kid to the locker room. 
to hang out with all the players because kids naturally have yeah. a tendency to brag. He's gonna go to school the next day and be like, "Guess what I did yesterday? I, I hung uh, out with the Lakers. Every uh-huh. single person on the team, I got all their jerseys signed. Look at me, look at me." Would you do that if you were a kid? Huh? You think you feel like you would do that? Me, the thing. If, would I brag about it? Yeah, would probably. You know yeah, I was a kid. As a kid, you brag so much. A lot, most kids brag. This is something that I've noticed. Yeah, and I've like most kids brag. It just does it. Most kids just brag. That's a natural instinct you have. Why? Because you want to be noticed. You want to be heard. They're seeking attention. Yeah. And when you do something that nobody yeah. else is doing, automatically you get attention. So you think you can teach your? So you think you're gonna teach humility? Through deprivation. No, not deprivation. I'm saying a good balance, which means I think uh-huh. it's extravagance. It's extravagant mm-hmm. to like give your kids lavish gifts, mm. to treat your kids to like courtside tickets yeah, to yeah. sports games. No, absolutely not. I understand what you're saying. I do think it's deprivation, though, because you have. If you can. Th- there's Yeah, that's the thing, bro. Not many people get those opportunities. I think you can teach humility without depriving. It's very hard. It is, but that's your job as a parent, bro. Maybe Give your kid as much as you can while keeping them humble. It's very hard to keep them humble, though. You if can they're do going it, though. Out, it's very hard. I've not seen it ha- happen ever. Because if you're giving your kids all these things and telling me, yeah, like, yo, listen, got to be humble. You didn't earn this. I earned this. It's like No, no, no. You don't say it like that, though. Yeah, you but teach it, them. You teach them to earn things, right? You get straight A's. You get this. You you do your chores, you get this. You you listen to me, you get this, right? You, can, you teach obedience, loyalty. Yeah, mm-hmm. th- that can be taught. I'm not saying, yeah. but I I just think like lavishness, like giving your son or daughter a convertible when they get like a driver's license like yeah. at 16. It's like yeah, I know you got straight A's, but yeah, okay. Even if you did a job, you did, your job can't pay for that Mercedes. It's not realistic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just want to mm-hmm. set realistic expectations. And I'm not saying yeah, yeah. we're not going to go to, like, vacation. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lock my kids up in a bunker and be like, yeah. starve. Yeah, yeah. No, I, <laughs> I worked for this. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just not do- going to indulge in lavishness. And I think for me, like, courtside tickets at Lakers, yeah. you know how much those cost? That's yeah, lavishness. Yeah. And I also, I also I don't think I would send my kids to private school. Yeah, I wouldn't send my kids to private school. I don't think so. Yeah. Because that's just, like, automatically you're secluding them. You're putting them together with all these other kids that are yeah. just like it, you're. You're putting them in a what is it? A bubble. bubble. Yeah, hundred percent in a bubble. Yeah, I I think it's really important. I think what because I'm not going to. My parents spoiled me a lot when I was a kid, and I think I learned humility later than I probably should have. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think part of learning humility was being around all types of people. Right. I mean, seeing people because we went to high school with, with some people that I mean, really well off. There's kids being dropped off at Model X's all the time. Yeah. But right? we also went to a high school yeah. with kids that were not well off at all. No, exactly. That's yeah. my point. So you're seeing both ends. I saw we were seeing both ends. Right. And then you can realize to appreciate like I was able to appreciate what I had because of the people that maybe didn't have so much. But I could I also felt the um, what's the ambition to strive for more so my kids can have what those other kids had. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So you can teach this, I think. Okay, a lot of people I've noticed yeah. who come from humble beginnings have this like want to give their kids what they couldn't have. What they couldn't have. And I think you're trying to live vicariously Maybe. through your kids. Maybe. Which I don't think is healthy, in I, my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I don't think that's healthy. Because a lot of people, when they become rich, are like, you know what? I always wanted a car when I was 16. I'm going to give my kid that. Mm. But it's like... No, don't do that because your yeah. your life is already past that age in your lifetime. Your kid has different circumstances. Yeah, giving your kid that car isn't gonna make up for something. What if they're a great kid though, like genuinely so? very obedient, very ambitious? They're after something. I'm yeah. Dude, they strive for your approval unless they're super mature, which is very hard yeah. for kids to be. It's very rare to do see. Do you feel like you were pretty mature? In high school? I, I got... So, in different ways, I was. Yeah. Like, obviously, I was a goofball in, like, a lot of terms. But, like, for the most part, yeah. in certain things, I was very mature because, like, I had to... Like, when I was an immigrant. It was a right. different experience. Like, yes, we were yes. on, like, food stamps. You had to so grow up faster. Here. Yeah. Like, yeah. my dad wasn't here for two and a half years. Right. So, it was harder. Yes. Obviously, he came back and, like, everything worked out. But right, right. It was... So, I think I had to grow up faster in, for right. my... Comparatively. I know what you're saying. So, yeah. yeah. Mature... In terms of that, yeah. yeah. Like, I was never... 
that's what I'm saying. Even for me, bro, sometimes yeah. I wanted to have a car, like, right? You of know, course. a nice car. But it's that's what I'm saying. It yeah. takes a very special kind of person. It's a strong mindset. Yeah. yeah, which is hard to inculcate. You can teach that though. You can do teach that, but yeah. I'm just saying. If you look at the averages, let's say your kid's above average, you know, yeah. even then it's hard because it, it can get to your head. You can teach your kid to be excellent. You can. You can. The thing is, it's also, bro, like if you if you like meet somebody who's really famous or mm -hmm. powerful, right? And you just like be in their presence for yeah. like an hour or two hours. You feel like, whoa, I did that. And like, you know, it, it sometimes mm. like I can't even imagine being that person because yeah. they get a constant, different treatment. Yeah. Constant, constant. It's a yeah. scary thing. It can get to your head easily. Easily, bro. Because yeah. you're no longer a normal human, right? And kids are getting yeah. that these days. These powerful, rich, famous families. I think that's always happened, though. Royalty, bro. Uh, yeah. I think it's always you're right. happened. It's been a recurring thing. Yeah. We don't learn our lesson, human beings. Right. That's why empires fall, families collapse. Yeah. That's why the world is just like it's But I, also, a cycle. They, maybe they treat... And another thing I do believe is... These celebrities, these royalty, these high-end individuals, they might give their kids so much because they lack the time to spend with them. So they're compensating with money, right? And that is something you shouldn't do. You shouldn't compensate with money. That's a different situation. I think you can give your kids whatever they want, but if you spend time with them and you teach them, you don't have like somebody else teaching them a maid or your friend or whoever, you know what I'm saying? You're in their life. I think they will learn, bro. I do believe that. I just think it's a beautiful feeling when you truly earn something yeah. on your own. It's a different... Nothing so, can ever replace that, in my opinion. So you wouldn't have any nepotism if you were a famous actor one day? Mm -hmm. Got one of your famous yeah. actor. Your kid wanted to as well. You wouldn't put them in one of your movies? No. Really? No. I would... So let's say... This is a tough question. Hold on. Yeah. Let me. I need to think about this because... Nepotism, when we think about nepotism, yeah. right? Nepotism has a tendency to be looked at. A family member gave something to their family or friend right. just because they knew them. Right. They didn't have any talent, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's how it's seen. Yeah, it's not necessarily true, but that's how sometimes, it's seen. Yeah, yeah, not always. So, yeah. like, if you look at it through that lens, yeah. obviously I'm not doing that. I'm not just going to give a... Like no, my yeah, cousin, yeah, yeah. A role in a movie. Just no, I'm saying your kid. Cousin. Your kid. I'm not talking about your even cousin. my yeah. kid. No, I'm not. Unless like I feel so. I the reason why like I backtracked was because if I were to make a movie, like yeah. I love talking about personal stories. If I was making a movie about a family, right? Like fatherhood. Yes. Like something what Will Smith did, right? And Pursue I'm like, happiness. Okay, my yeah. son has something. I see something, and I'm like, if there's a character to play yeah. my son, yes. Nobody else can play that but my son <laughs> because right. he's my son. Yeah. So in that case, I would do that. But again, I'd be really careful. I'd be really careful. But overall, though, I've thought mm -hmm. about this many times. Yeah. Like merit always wins. You merit should does. always give. You have to teach to your kid how to have merit. It's hard though. How do you te teach no, an eight-year-old if they're? Let's say your eight-year-old. Mm -hmm. Let's say like I cast my yeah. son, an eight-year-old, <laughs> in a movie, and yeah. the movie wins an Oscar. He's on the stage. He's getting all these awards. For right. Eight-year-old? How do I teach him? Dude, you didn't earn this. You just got this because, you know, it's No, hard. but that's not true. He probably did earn it. If he's getting an Oscar? Yeah, but it's still like that to the degree. He's not where he was unless he Of course he not. Like, he's in a better place. He's because of his father, right? Right. So it's very hard to wrestle with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to teach an eight-year-old that lesson. I, I, that one I do disagree with, bro. I think you can definitely teach your kids humility, and you can teach them. You grew up a di like a hard way, right? Like you had yeah. a harder upbringing, right? But I think you can have an upbringing in a different. They can teach you can teach your kid how to be mature in a different way. It's hard, man. Yeah, because I've thought and about this a do lot. You, I don't even know if being mature, like learning how to be mature as a kid, is even a good thing. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, I'm not saying yeah. an eight-year-old should act like a 30-year-old. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I, I just fear, because I've seen a lot in my extended family yeah. elsewhere, people who are really wealthy, and their kids yeah. are just spoiled brats. Right. There's no other way Do to Do they say spend it. time with their kids? Actually, I can't speak to that, because I'm not that close with them. But I'm just what speaking. your family says... I'm no, extended family, right? Like, no, I know, but what family. your family says about them, I'm sure like, your parents like, know more than you. Not e Even then, like I just feel like when you give your kid an expensive gift, 
yeah. something like a car or mm-hmm. like a something that get, has a lot of monetary value. A kid, it's just gonna mess with their head. They're just gonna value material objects and things. You can reward them in other mm-hmm. ways. Mm-hmm. I'm not How so? saying, okay, you wanna let's maybe your kid really likes to go to mountains. You take them to a mountain trip and you expose them to experiences. experiences. I think you. I what I would do is. Yeah, I th- I'm down for experiences, but not. Is it because like you enjoy experiences? What no. if they don't enjoy that as much? Because yeah, I don't. I don't. Kids naturally, we like objects and things, right? Because it's, it's like tangible. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's it's not a good thing. Because growing up, bro, I always wanted a lot of toys, but my parents never gave them to me, and mm. I'm so happy they didn't. I was always pissed. I was like, God, everybody has a Hot Wheels. I want one. It's uh. like I'm happy that I didn't have that because yeah. I don't value material objects. Like, I don't give a shit. I really don't care. Yeah. And I want my kids to feel a similar. I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to give my kid a Hot Wheels. Yeah, yeah. He wants one. Right. Sure, I'll try. But, like, you know, it yeah. needs to. I don't know. Man. I just think you need to teach your kids how to want to earn something. They need to have that, that energy inside them to want to earn it. Absolutely. If you give your kids everything just because they're your kid, that's obviously you're, you're setting them up for disaster, right? Just as an adult, you're setting up for disaster. But if you teach your kids. This is what you do in order to 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 earn this, to get this, right? And then as life goes on, right, you can teach them like if 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 pallet one day is, is a huge thing, you teach I mean, I'd probably teach them certain roles. I'd probably teach them sales roles and how how do you sell? I think that's really important, right? Oh yeah. Stuff like that and then if if they're doing well, being a good father. Then, then yeah, you teach yeah. yeah. And then but they earn it, I would probably give them more than just their income. You know what I'm saying? I like I'd probably Say you can have this if you just work hard. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I agree, but I would yeah. not do that for me. Like, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't give them the same because I would be because my I've seen and by the way I just want to make one other point yeah. before I forget. A lot of people who are impoverished always look up to rich kids and right. they envy them. Yeah, and like I I can hear that. And like I went to USC, which like I saw a lot of these rich kids. Yeah, and they have their own set of problems. Right, you know, like. Sometimes, at least for me, coming from an impoverished background, I was always like, what can go wrong in their life? And I spent some time with these kids, yeah, and yeah. I was like, a lot can go wrong. Yeah. You know, like mental health issues, parents not spending enough yeah. time, them always having a complex of what if I never amount to anything? What right. if I live under my dad's shadow forever? Right. What if I live under my mom's shadow forever? Yeah. Divorce, which is exists everywhere. Yeah. But like, but if you just teach hard. them to be like you're, they're your partner, you're mm-hmm. like they're your partner in crime basically your kids are your like they're an extension i don't is there a shadow that's still being casted there always is man you think so i feel like yeah there's always a, this like shadow of do i really have this because of my dad or me a lot mm-hmm. of these kids live that's a fair thought though. they i've spent some yeah. time and like they're just like they want to just yeah it's it's a it's a different set of problems yeah my point is regardless of your financial situation right you'll always have problems and the problems never go away you're right. Sometimes as a rich kid, you feel like you're yeah, the yeah. worst luck in the world. Yeah, yeah. Regardless, like you can. Yeah. yeah, you can. That's probably you probably don't have enough real life experience to think that, yeah. right? But you can think that. Yeah. So you wouldn't give your kid a car when they're sixteen? No, I would. Oh, but okay. would it would it be like a convertible? No, I would just give them a no. normal car. Oh, okay, I got. You. I would give them like a, I don't know. I'd mess with them a little bit. Maybe like give them like a eighty five. <laughs> No, <laughs> something like not, they have to bro. fix. Like, what is this? No, nah, I'm kidding. But we'll see, man. Like the car you're driving, you would give. I us- would want to be strict with my yeah. parents, my, my kids, though. I have thought about. I want to be like a strict. I, I'll be a cool dad, obviously. If I'm a comedian, what? Like, I'm yeah. gonna have like, come on, <laughs> they're gonna see me make people laugh. So I can't be strict all the you time. You can. I can, but I'm I'm gonna be like a hardcore in terms of, yeah. I'll I'll put them through some hell for sure. Really? Put them through some serious hell. Yeah. Like what? I don't know, bro. I'm just I'll just mess with my kid. My son, I'm gonna like dis- destroy, obviously. Like, obviously. why? I just cause cause it's just like not a, as a power throw. Like, I guess like a kick out of it. No, but I just want him to like really. Cause I've just seen, bro. I'm so sick. Of, I'm. I don't want to like name. See, names. this is a cynical part of you coming out. But I'm uh-huh. seeing people around me and these kids who are just brats. But you can learn from their parenting style. Yeah, but I'm learning. <laughs> like it's not. I, I'm seeing things, uh-huh. and I, the only strategy that seems that sticks out to me yeah. is to be strict for the most part. Not to. I'm not saying I'm gonna be all like military style Navy uh-huh. SEAL hazing. No. Yeah. Just strict, as in like yeah. The, uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I do believe that you should 
boost your kids. Give them 100%. confidence. Yeah. Give them confidence. And I'm not saying anything. Yeah. I'm not denying. I'm just saying it's going like it's it's like a good coach, bro. I want to yeah. be a hardcore coach. I'm not going to be the coach who's going to be like, LeBron, you're so amazing. Keep going. Do whatever it is you do. I'm just here to facilitate you. No. Like, LeBron, I know you're the best player in the world, A bro. coach. That's yeah. a better a word. Yes. I know you're the best okay. player in the world, but this is still what you can do and work on and improve on. No, that's fair. Yeah, I want to be a hardcore coach. That? Like, yeah. a hard coach that people, like, hate in the beginning when yeah. they come to love. Do your parents give you a lot of compliments? Do they compliment you a My lot? My dad does. Yeah. Uh, he praises you. My dad praises and me. And how does it feel? It feels okay because a lot of uh, my dad is an amazing guy, yeah. and he I have no qualms. But I wouldn't do with my parents. I would, I'm, I'm gonna have a different style because my yeah. mom and my dad are a little different. But yeah, yeah. Would your dad ever compliment? Did your dad comp- give you a lot of compliments? Uh, co- yeah, yeah, for sure. When I was younger, a lot of compliments. Always like, yeah, my parent, my mom still gives me a lot of compliments. My dad, he gives me hundred percent. He's still like very loving compliment, but it's it's like. He does ask like what, where's wh- like where's opportunity, where's room for improvement, and whatever it is, maybe it's my personality, or yeah. maybe it's my business, or maybe it's whatever it is, right? There's, he's always asking where can you improve, where can you improve. But when I was a kid, it wasn't so much like that. It was just like you're kicking ass. What the the doors open? Yeah, like you're kicking ass, and uh, you can just keep doing what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would give compliments yeah. to my kids. I'm not opposed to that, obviously. I feel like you're saying what I'm gonna like not give compliments. No, to that you're them. gonna basically like lock them in a room Baby. with like Maybe. word puzzles with probably puzzles? like a. Do you want your kids to be good at math? I, I don't care. Really? No, I'm not gonna be. That's something I've learned. I don't yeah. care what it is they decide to do. I have no preference for STEM or the arts because I respect both. No, I'm not going to be that. No, 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 not STEM or the yeah. but also, math I, specifically. I'm not going to be mad at grades, bro. Yeah. I'm not going to be that guy who's like, B plus? Really? No, yeah, yeah. I just want my kids, if you truly like something, yeah. go all out. Go all in. Go all in. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, that's what I, the father of. Yeah. Me. I thought you would want your kids to be very good at math because no. you're not so hot. I'm pretty the, good at mental math. math. I can do math. <laughs> I know, bro. Dude. I remember high school, dude. You never want to talk about math. Math. Yeah, I remember that, bro. I hate the way high school structures math. They don't know how to teach math to kids. They don't know how to teach algebra, calculus. Yeah. They don't know how to teach anything and when it comes to math specifically. I mean, certain teachers can teach pretty good, bro. I always had terrible math teachers. Yeah? Yeah. All, a lot of times. My calc teacher was terrible. But I've heard the, our B, the BC calc professor it was insane. Yeah. A teacher can go yeah. a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would your What would you want your kids to do? Would you want the kids to do the same thing you did? No, I think the same way. I just want them to be like ambitious in whatever it is. Yeah. And if you're gonna go in, just go in, die first, right? Dive head first. Definitely. Um. Would your Would you want your hmm. kids to be like a pop singer when they're young? A singer? Yeah. If they like love a pop singing, artist, they blow up when they're like eighteen. I think that'd be amazing. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. If that's what they want to do, though, mm. right? They don't know necessarily what they're getting into. They don't know what the fame is going to cost them. But that's my job as a parent to coach them through that. Mm. I mean, I don't necessarily know how it means to be famous at all, right? At 18? At 18. That's I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't but know either. But I do think you can coach your kid to appreciate your words over the other people that mm. aren't in your circle. Because something I noticed, but even with paparazzi, with these celebrities, right? Celebrities, they bear no attention to paparazzi, even though paparazzi is just feeding them compliments, just feeding them compliments. You don't think so? Okay. I, mm-hmm. you're, yes and no, because a lot of these celebrities, they yeah. crave paparazzi attention. Do you know what they do sometimes? Mm-hmm. They like literally text Call, paparazzi. Yeah, true. Like, yo, I'm wearing this outfit. But that's a marketing them. reason. That's yeah, marketing. No, to but keep they still them get relevant. a kick out of it, bro. I'm telling you. No, it's to keep them relevant. For but, sure. Yeah, but these For mega sure. stars, they love yeah. they like the attention. They like the fact. You don't think a lot of these big stars, they love how Maybe, paparazzis yeah, I'm are sure always there are. photographing I'm sure there's them. There's always somebody yeah. who's interested in whatever it is they're doing 24-7. They like that. A lot oh. of these big stars. I'm not saying all of them. Yeah. I'm saying a lot of these big stars, they're narcissistic because yeah. their circumstances make them. How could right. you not be narcissistic if somebody is always 24-7 telling you what? you are the best thing in the world? It's hard of course. Not to. I can understand why they'd be narcissistic. Yeah. That doesn't make it right, but does I not get make it. it right. But I still do believe they know what's right and wrong in their brain. 
but maybe they just didn't have the right guidance. It's addiction, bro. Fame is addicting. Once you get a taste it can, of it, it can get old, bro. I think just like partying can get old, sleeping with girls after girls can get old, well, drinking can get old. That's what happens to these big artists. They're really like when they're like young, twenties, thirties, forties. Everything gets old. No, no, no. Everything is good. No, they. The thing is, fame dies out eventually. Yeah, it's right. very rare. Yes. For fame to last. Right. Since you were a kid to death. Yes. Very rare. Right. So, but they're, so what do you, what, what I'm finish? saying is yeah. like when they get older and yeah. they don't have that fame, they're right. like, whoa. It's depression. It's depression. You think that's what Matthew Perry went through? Maybe. That's, that's the guy at the Friends star, right? Friends, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. It can yeah. be very depressing to go from zero to 100 and anything in 100 life, to zero. 100 to zero. Yeah. Exactly. Or zero to 100. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can, it can, it can mess with your mind. No, that'll definitely mess with your mind, bro. Going from 100 to zero. But that that's what I'm saying. As a parent, I think a lot of these celebrities don't have solid rock parents either, though, bro. Like teaching them, coaching them through things like, hey, maybe instead of this route, let's go this route. Make your own decision. But if it fails, let's let's reconvene. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I was thinking about this a lot, man. Mm -hmm. I think what's happened and I don't want to sound like a older person who's always criticizing. No, sound like Ibrahim Ahmed. Yeah. My perspective is right now in this day and age, people crave attention we as a society value attention a lot clicks likes engagement followers mm. and a lot of people growing up these days are craving that they want to aspire to have a following they want to aspire to have fans right and when you do that mm -hmm. it's not healthy because you're automatically impulsively you are thinking about the outside world validating you Instead mm -hmm. of you validating yourself. Right. And that is not healthy. Like when you're completely dependent on somebody else who's not you validating you. Right. That's not healthy. You're not going to be happy long term. Yeah. Because that can switch right. overnight. And that happens to people. And that is when depression hits or right. they go rock bottom. I think that's always been a theme though throughout history, bro. I think people. Not like it is now. Though. No. So the difference now is we have a different pool of audience, right? We can be friends with people in Australia. We can be friends with people in Senate, whatever it is, right? I think forever there's maybe a few hundred people that you'll encounter with on the daily or throughout the year, right? And I think people always have been craving to have more friends, to have more friends than the next person over. It's just a different experience. It's more unhealthy because we shouldn't be ex exposed to thousands and millions of people, right? But I think that's always been a theme. But what you're talking about is companionship, having more friends, company, you know, peace, solace, because you yeah. feel like you're hurt. I'm talking about attention. Like, I'm talking okay. about numbers. It's a numbers game. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Like, you have, you follow more people than follow, than, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, a, like, let's say somebody has an Instagram yeah. and they follow like 4,000 people when they right. have like 500 followers. You know, people like sometimes like, I know oh, what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. In the society these days, yeah. it's, it's very, it's like. Do you think that theme is dying down? Fame has become quantitative. It's, well, it's not dying down. What's happening is f the, the term fame is mm -hmm. changing. Because just having a bunch of followers doesn't yeah. mean much. Because it's very now there's a model to do. You know, like a lot of people have audiences. Yeah, they have a million followers because they sell a product or yeah. they do a storytelling or they do a certain kind of art. So it's becoming more normalized. Yeah, which means doesn't take the negative side effect of it. It just means like it's it's doable. It's right. possible. I've heard recently. Like, I remember in high school, bros like follower count. We were we would talk about that stuff all the time, right? Really. I think all, we, all the time, but no, yeah, no, sorry, not all the, yeah. my bad, not all the, you know what I'm saying? Like when we were building the YouTube thing, we were talking about follower count and talking about, oh, this girl, like if DMing her, cause if she had 5,000 followers, like, ah, that's probably difficult, more difficult than the girl that has 800 followers. Right. Sure. Um, but recently I think I've heard people say that it's cool to not have so many followers. Like it's a cool thing to only follow people that you know, or have people follow you that you know. Have you heard that? What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But, like, not having thousands of people, f following thousands of people just oh, for the no, number. No, I'm not saying following. I'm saying followers. Or having, yeah, yeah, even that. Even having really? thousands of followers. Because I get that perspective, bro. Why Why would you want random people oh. knowing you? To me, that's like. But that's the, that's the price of fame. 
Yeah, like, but it's weird. It's weird, yeah, but that's the price of fame. Yeah, no, true. That's if you do something that's truly remarkable yeah. and that positively affects people more yeah. negatively, people will know about you. It's the price of fame. That's just the way it works. That one is exactly what, is that's literally what fame is, right? Yeah, that's what Having it is. more people know you than you Random know people. Random people know you. The whole world knows you sometimes. Does that scare you? Yes. Do you think it'll overcome you? Overcome me in what yeah. you mean? Like that that feeling of fame, of like superiority, overcome your humility. Oh, I'm not, I'm not like, um, I'm not perfect, so it can affect me. Absolutely. Yeah. If I were to be like internationally famous, that yeah. can get to your head. Yeah. Regardless of what I do, that's why like I really have made prayer a part of my life. Like if you pray five times a day, you bow your head every single day yeah. in front of your creator. We've talked about this on the right. podcast, but. That's why, like, you you need to pray and you need to believe in God. So that's how you combat it, you think, fame? In with my religion? Opinion, uh, not religion. Okay. Because people have this, like, negative connotation of religion sometimes. So I mean, like, really faith in something bigger than yourself, which is God. Right. And, yeah, for me, it's my religion, Islam. Right, right. right. But you just need to humble yourself. And, yeah, I guess you're right. The only way to do it is, is, re is through religion yeah. because religion makes you close. It's supposed to make, make you closer to God. So Kim Kardashian, what do you say to her? To humble her down. Dude, so many things. Oh my god, I would yeah. speak. I would love to roast Kim Kardashian. If she, but the thing is, she don't roast. Give genuine advice. Advice? Who yeah. am I to give her? I don't know what it's like to be here, Kim well, Kardashian. Well, no, true. But what would you do to parenting wise? Yeah. I can give tell her one thing. Mm. I mean, it's too late now. But yeah. if I was Kim Kardashian, I would have kept her uh, my kids out of the public eye. Why? Because it's not healthy as a eight year old, nine year old, ten year old for people to know. Who you are and constantly seeing images, pictures, videos. Yeah. It's not good. It's just not. It's literally like I am not like a scientifically researched person. Like, look at what I just said. Scientifically yeah, researched whatever. person. What does that mean? Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying it's not healthy. Like, biologically, it's not healthy to do that for a young kid. That's my advice. Don't spoil your kids. Don't spoil your kids. She's spoiling her kids. Yeah. Again, I don't know Kim personally, but from what I see, she's spoiling her kids. Lots of people say greed is the root of all evil. Greed? You think greed? I think it's also the, the fear of losing what you have. That's the root of all evil? No, not root of all evil. I don't know. The They're saying greed, all... though. Greed. You think Kim Kardashian is greedy? I hate talking about these celebrities. No, but... I'm not saying Kim Kardashian, but I'm saying like a way to when you spoil your kids, that's a, that's a sense of greed, I think. Well, it's what she, it, she doesn't, I, I think sometimes you're so used to it. Yeah. Because you got it as a kid. You're like, taking my kid to a Lakers what, game. Was, like, was she spoiled as a kid? I don't know. I don't know. I mean. Because uh, they got famous in their later years. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. See, that's why I don't know. Yeah. I don't wanna, but from what I can see, I think she is spoiling her kids. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think she's sculpting her kids to be innately famous. I think that's what she's trying to do. I don't agree with that, but I think that's what she's trying to a do. A lot of people want to be famous. We're in Los Angeles, like yeah. I'm around these people who yeah. want to be famous because they it's... want their legacy, bro, to live on. No, 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 no. It's not that. A lot of times, it's not <laughs> even that. I've met some people who, yes, they want a legacy. Yeah. But more often than not, they just want to be heard. They want attention. They want like I. You know, have you seen those girls post on Instagram? They're like, they're like doing like. Uh, they're like acting out like if paparazzis are chasing them. They're like yes. have their hand over their face. Like they have that need, bro. Like that's like they they is it they, a need or want? It's a want, uh -huh. but it's becoming a need because they see it so often. Really? Yes, bro. They're like fantasizing that moment. I've talked to like mm -hmm. I've talked to a couple of people who yeah. are actors and actresses, and yeah. they idolize the moment when like they'll be famous. When the cameras on, cameras are on. Paparazzis are chasing them. They're like, oh, I'm going to text them if I'm wearing a sexy outfit and so they can photograph me and stuff. It's like, yo, it's not about you if you do that. Yeah. And again, like, I'm not like, you know, it's so, yeah. How do those people become, f I, see, I'm a believer. Some dude. of them do become famous. I'm a believer though, man. I, I know it happens, but if you're yearning, if you want to become famous, you want to become rich just for the, just for the money or just for the attention it's more likely not going to happen than it is because that's what your focus is on. Well, actually, sometimes it does. Because, I think it does. I think you, it does, yeah. Sometimes, like, if you all you want to do is be famous, you can. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. but th that's just like a very superficial goal yeah. to have famous. That means you want attention. Okay. Yeah. It still requires a lot of hard work, though. Yeah, I'm to not just to be that. famous. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. Look at what all these YouTubers do. The extent streamers, it's insane, bro. These streamers, these Twitch streamers. I don't understand it, dude. They'll do random shit to strangers. They'll like go naked. Not even take that, these bro. Bathtubs. These streamers are on their damn lap computer. Twenty four seven. Twenty. 12 hours a day. Some people hours? are like, like saying the same word like for hours on end. Like <laughs> Mr. Beast did that. Yeah. In the so, beginning. But it's I'm not I, again. I'm not trying to criticize Mr. Beast, but I'm like people, kids out there don't repeat names of random people for like days on end just to get attention. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You, I, This is not a good culture to have. Is every, I don't I think in any culture, bro, everyone will say this is not the best culture to have. No, but there's always going to be critiques. That's the beauty of culture. You that can critique it. Culture, true. You know, that's yeah. you're supposed to critique yeah. cultures. So how do we become better? Look for validation from the inside. My dad always says that. Mm. Like, if you're happy inside, nobody else can break that piece. So what's your dad's offering to become happy on the inside? Recognize God, creator, pray as much as you can. To be humble. To be humble and, like... One thing I'm realizing more often than now, because again, I mentioned to you, I, I started reading the translation of the Holy Quran. Right. One thing it says there is, it's the life after this one that's the most important. This whole thing we're doing is yeah. a test. Right. There's all these desires and wants and things you want to do yeah. and things you're not supposed to do and things you're supposed to do. And if I, if you think about life that way, yeah, it's like, okay, I want to be on the better side of this trial. And mm. so if the life after this is the best one, yeah, I'm, I'm playing the long game. I'm of playing course. the life after. Yeah. I don't give a shit. That, that's a very difficult game for humans to live, bro. Very, the bro. The long game? But it's if you think about it, it's such a beautiful test, though. You If you think of your life as a trial yeah. and a test, oh, my God. Of that's course. So it's very beautiful. If you think, yeah, bro, if you think of a long game in material in the material world, the world we're living in, people can barely do that, bro. People can barely stick to a job for six months. People can barely go in on a business, right? Nonetheless, live their entire life for this moment that they don't even know is going to happen. Well, if you have faith, you know. If you have one hundred percent, I'm not. You, but you know what I'm saying here, yeah. bro. The back of your mind, you're like, Whoa. yeah, like it's a fact. If you continue a business and you keep going and going, and going eventually, it's going to work out. If you make the right choices. Right. Eventually, improve, yeah. yeah, if you learn and keep going, learn and keep going, it's going to happen, right? If you're a social media influencer and it's the same thing, you keep going, you keep going, you learn, you pivot, it's going, and people give up on it all the time. And this is a year game, a three-year game. Imagine an 80-year game. Bro, that's a very difficult for humans to live. Yeah, that's... I really agree with you. I love being a rebel, though. Mm. Like, you know, I love going against what everybody else is saying or doing. Because it's so easy to be sheep. <laughs> yes. You know? And I'm not saying I'm not, like, I don't have those tendencies. Obviously, I do some things just because somebody else, I'm like, oh, right, right, I'll right. do it. But for the most part, I love, like, thinking about things in a way where it's like, most people are not thinking about it this way. I'm like, you know what? I'll be a rebel. I'll prove you wrong. If I can't do this, I'll do it. Like, you know. Yeah. Not, you know what I'm saying? No, like, yeah, yeah. It's just so... I just feel more fulfilled when I'm a rebel, you know? A rebel. That's an interesting word. Yeah, like live life like a rebel. That. Really? Yeah. I would be that's careful I, the way you say rebel. No, rebel as yeah. in not, I'm not rebelling, you know, like Are you an obedient time. son? Have you always been an obedient son? No. Not fully, but generally? For the most part, no. Really? No. I've literally, like, it might, I might come off as that, but yeah. my parents will tell you, no. Straight up. <laughs> I do things, like, I'm very much, I... I okay. but are your parents right most of the time when you're when you rebel thinking back now yes my parents have been more right than me for sure right about so many things so, but, I but would, you didn't realize that at a, so if you realize that at a younger age wouldn't you be more obedient because you'd be yeah, further it's ahead hard, it's hard to recognize at a younger age but sometimes our parents are wrong you mm -hmm. know there's a lot of times when they're wrong I absolutely of course agree. of course but they think they're right yeah, yeah. yeah of course it's like anything yeah. I think you need to have that's what I'm saying like if you for me, I can only speak to myself because right. I'm having like I'm becoming more religious and like if you ground yourself in religion and yeah. you know what God says about something and like you know your ideals and your principles, it's like nobody can break you because you know where you stand. Mm -hmm. It's not you. You're just you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. Yeah. Rebellion is I've never been like a rebellious. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
before so I, I want to clarify. Yeah. Re- by rebel, I mean like just going against the norm. Right. No, rebelling I know, I know what you the mean. Norm. I'm not saying you gotta rebellion. You got to be careful the way you say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying rebelling against my parents. Like, I'm going to go out. That's why I said and, obedience. Like, do yeah. drugs or something. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying that. Generally, bro, if you That's, if you yeah. compare, I think you're a fairly obedient son. But you don't know. Certainly. I, of course, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But even... But knowing, okay, looking from the outside in, if yeah, you, that's what it seems. Like. That's what it seems, of course, bro. But if you look from the outside in and say he's a rebel, then from the inside in, he's probably way worse than what you see on the outside. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So if I see on, the, if most people see on the outside that you're more obedient, you're probably less rebellious than the guy that's seen as a rebel from the outside. But also, society also has these, like, weird benchmarks of what rebellion means. Because what obedient to you probably means is, like, I don't do drugs, mm. I don't do blah, 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 I stay out of trouble. But that's just, like, surface-level stuff. That's not surface-level, bro. That for can screw of, over a lot of people's that lives. That can, but for me, at least. You know, because that's not, you know what I'm saying? For different people, there's different benchmarks. Because that, for me, was never... You're just saying that's a basis in your yeah, life. It's a, it's a fundamental foundation. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do drugs. I'm gonna try my best not to do yeah. drugs. I've so far so good, but right, right. You know, again, I'm not perfect. I'm right, trying right, my right. best. I'm none, but yeah. My, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like a very. That's what are you equating obedience kind of with that in trouble? Like you know, staying good, even steady, what, stability, good yeah. grades, college degree, high school. Exactly. Job. Yeah, but that's see, that's like a bench. That's like fundamental surface so, level stuff. If you think of a pyramid, right, or if you think of a house, even whatever yeah. it is. The foundation is this wide. It's, it's think about twelve inches, right? And as you go up the pyramid, it becomes a va- it becomes so much smaller. That becomes way less significant when you're at the top than when you're at the bottom, because this bottom stuff can make your life a lot worse than this top stuff. Does that make sense? Because mm-hmm. this top stuff, that's where you're. Yes, that's where yes, you're taking yes. it. That's the depth, yes. right? Maybe you don't want to be a lawyer. Maybe you're really diving in to comedy because there's some innate need for. For you to make people laugh, whatever it is, Joy. right? It's I'm sure there's reasons in your brain yeah. that you're thinking about, right? Uh, and that's a luxury, by the way. But that foundation, if that foundation is this wide, you're and, and you're listening to what your parents are saying along this foundation, I think it's a lot more important than not listening to them in this top section. Yeah, yeah. You. So what you're saying is sometimes yeah. the surface level stuff is so important. It's important because if you break that. Everything else is shattered. Everything. Everything yeah. from the foundation yeah. up is done. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm not trying to sound like egotistic or, or overconfident, but I feel like I'm past that. You know what I'm you saying? You are, but because of your point, parents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That kind yeah. of goes to my parents. But that was obedience. That's that what got you there. Yeah. Yeah, but it was also a lot of it. was also like trial and common error? sense. No, no, not trial and error because I never. But your parents yeah. taught you common sense, which is True. obedience. Yeah. A lot of people live in homes where their parents do drugs, and the common sense right. to them is go on the corner and sling. That's a beautiful point because I had the luxury to grow up in a home where my parents drugs, alcohol, never nothing. It, right. My dad has never smoked a cigarette in his life. He's right. Never drank a sip of alcohol. Same thing with my mom. So you're right. I had the luxury because my parents did that. It was never even came to my mind, like right. drugs, alcohol, like cigarettes. What the hell? Nobody does this. Yes. Yeah. That okay. Good That's point. What I'm so That's you are obedient point. in a way. That's still obedience. <laughs> I hate the word obedience. But it but is. Know, yeah. No, no. But you have to. Obedience bro, means like ignorance. No, yeah. no, 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 no. You. I've thought about this a lot, bro. You think about obedience as if you're a dog. That's what. That's how you're. That's how your yeah, frame that's is thinking, what I'm of. thinking of. But a, obedience is a beautiful thing, bro. You think it's a beautiful. Thing? It is yeah. a beautiful thing. Wow. Okay. Check this out. My, okay, I feel naturally I've been very obedient. I've been obedient son. I was very naive, bro, until about 17 years old. Very, very naive. I believed everything my parents would say. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't recourse, until recoil 17? until se- I would talk back. That's not, of course, that's a normal thing for humans to do. You talk back, you, you challenge, right? Mm. But with basically everything that there's 16, maybe six, me, 15, 16, what I'm saying is, the, the entire almost my entire childhood right i listened to what they said listen to what they said listen to it and then obviously there's some recoil recoil but for the generally i just accepted what they said even though some things maybe or maybe were lies just in order to protect me right and then maybe i talked back more and i i kind of formed my own path when i when my la- latter half of my teens right and my dad started saying something when i when i think when i graduated college mm-hmm. and i was going into my career he would tell me he was like if kids would just listen to what their parents would say, they'd be so much further along because your parents have been through what you have been through, basically, right? Generally speaking, 
if your parents are in a better place than where you're at, then that's probably the smart idea. But obviously there's there's qualms with that, obviously, right? Your parents can be in a very shitty position and you probably wouldn't want to do that. But if your parent if you know your parent genuinely wants better for you and they've been through experiences you've been through and you're like, nah, you probably just did it the wrong way, then you're being arrogant. But if you listen to what they're saying and accept what they're saying as truth because that they've been through and they've made the mistake, oh, man, that's obedience, brother. And you're going to be further along. Mm. If I, I probably wouldn't have pallet dudes right now if I wasn't obedient in listening to what my dad said, um, that it was a smart idea to buy truckloads, right? Or that I can – that first pallet, I needed his approval. I needed his approval, bro. If I didn't have his approval, I probably wouldn't have bought that first pallet. I went to see it by myself. And – I wanted it, of course. It's a cool thing to start this business, but it was a thousand bucks, bro. And I was, that was, I mean, a thousand bucks not that's a lot. That's not light money, you know. You need you need money, especially in the beginning. Um, I I made him drive back with me, check it out, check everything, talk to the guy, make sure they're legit. I needed approval like that. That's a really powerful point. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's just that's where I stand at least, and I feel like. I am further along because I've listened to what my parents have said and so so on forth. But yeah, my parents are so happy listening to what you just said. They're like, "Yeah, go mad." That's exactly really? what you said. Yeah, because it is the they truth. They emphasize the concept of obedience, and I agree with them. And actually, Islam is a lot about a lot about obedience, surrendering yourself yeah. to your Creator, like literally obedience. Right. It's all Christianity about that. too. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. But I think like maybe I am a victim of. And a byproduct of our society because in society, like obedience is like blind following something. That's but it's what not. Think. It's not. You're right. It's yeah. not. It's like that's, I think we, it's it's a good thing we're talking about this because yeah. I don't often hear this on podcasts and like young people talking about this, but it is important to be obedient to parents. Yeah. If they've, if they're like, you know, just normal people. Yeah. They just want what's best for you if they're not in toxic relationships. Right, right, right. Like, luckily, our parents, you know, yeah. normal people, LDB, yeah. people, cool, dope. They want what's best for us. And it's not it's not a terrible thing to right. be obedient. It's actually a good thing. But sometimes... You can challenge. You should challenge, yes. in my opinion, because they're also humans. They're not perfect. Exactly. They I can agree. Be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure at the dinner table, you guys have conversations every night, right? Sure. We have conversations every night. I'm not saying I don't challenge, yeah. but challenging isn't the same as being obedient. Yeah. Right? I you If you ask my dad, maybe he'll say that maybe I'm more more rebellious than maybe what I'm thinking, right? Mm. But at the end of the day, man, you have to challenge because ask you can ask my dad this too. I mean, I teach him things just as he teaches me things. I see the world in a different light because of our generation, because I'm younger. Um, I think I'm another thing that has always been emphasized to me and I've I've taken that to heart since like probably freshman year of college. Be it my dad's always told me be a sponge, be adaptable. Because when you're adaptable you can learn things. And you're not stuck to your old way. That's where people fucking fail, bro. They fail because they're stuck to their way and they think they know best. But that is not the truth. I still struggle with this, bro. Sometimes sometimes customers will come and tell me, oh, I used to do this, but the way you're doing it's wrong. And I'm like, what do you know, bro? You don't have a warehouse. I'm the one with the warehouse. That's arrogance. Mm. I still struggle with it, right? But what I'm saying is generally, like, if you if you're able to be a sponge and listen to what people say and filter information out, you're gonna you're gonna be okay. Always listen first. Yeah. I agree. Listen first listen and first. then react. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, agree. I don't even think you should react. Actually, really. Yeah, I think you should just listen, and mm. you don't have to give the person the satisfaction of agreeing or disagreeing. Mm. You can just listen, take like it. You in react and... internally. Oh yeah, internally. Yeah, yeah, yeah like externally, yeah. you can have a poker face. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Have a poker face. Yeah. yeah. Or you know what I like to do, bro? People are funny, bro. Just like you said, people love validation. People love hearing themselves hyped up. Whatever the person is saying, whether it's a fact or I know it, I know it's false, whether I know it's a fact or I know it's false, I just hype them up, bro. That's and you, you get them fake excited, though, bro. <laughs> no, but you get them excited, bro. You hype them up, yeah, knowing them that up. they're wrong. Yeah. Why? W- w- if it's just a customer, yeah. No, if it's if it's my friend and my inner circle, no, I'm gonna tell them the truth because I want them to be better. <laughs> but if it's a customer and they're saying, yeah, I know this or that, it, let them, bro. Let, let them, them. Let them win. You're let saying? them win. I don't care enough. If they're gonna, if it's gonna get them to keep coming back and buy with me, <laughs> and if they think that's what they're doing, that's right. Damn, let them, bro. Man's out here playing chess. You gotta do sometimes, dude. <laughs> playing these games. I still give my opinion. I'm not saying I, I still give my opinion of what I think is gonna work, what I think is not gonna work. But this is, 
this reminded me you have to pick and choose your battles in life you have to pick you yes. can't go out ha like have this mentality of i have to win in every single yes. thing every single conversation every single discussion every single endeavor yes. like whoa if you live life like that it's you're never gonna be satisfied yeah bro there's people like that, that i've talked a to. lot of people they like want to have a win in every conversation they want to be the right one they want to be like every single thing accurate yes. fact accurate this oh my god yes they want to be the jamie of everything and they can't yeah 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 <laughs> shout out jamie from joe rogan yeah. I, i'm sure he's not that guy i know you sure. know the fact checker yeah, yeah, the guy who's checker. right yeah. yeah yeah all right on that note this has been a very i think personally speaking this has been our best podcast yeah today. yeah it's a good one i think this is it's the best one. one this is probably the best one yeah it was a good balance of every single thing love it all right until next time